Hello, Rachel. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Megan. She sent your website on to me for analysis, which is what this video is. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video how you can get more customers online with your actual, you know, this website. <laughs> you don't have to like get a different website or anything like that. And I'm going to show you some a uh, few things you can implement right now to help get more people here and I'm also going to show you one of your local competitors and I'm going to show you the numbers on how they're actually beating you and then how you can counteract that, how you can actually turn the tables on them. Um, and uh, that's what this is all about, coming out on top. Now the first thing I do after looking at your site, which is a great site by the way, um, you have uh, a lot of uh, custom photos and uh, testimonials and uh, it's a great site. Uh, as a customer, I would love to show up here. Now, uh, the next thing I do after looking at this site is I have a paid tool that I subscribe to. It shows me the metrics of your site, how it has been performing over the last couple of months, and then I do a regular old Google search, Sacramento HVAC. Now, I know that you guys do solar and other things, but uh, I'm just con most people don't search for all of those things at once, so I'm just going to concentrate on HVAC right now. Um, now, uh, the reason that I'm showing you a Google search is because Google is responsible for about 96% of the traffic on the internet. That is an amazingly stupendous amount of traffic that they have their thumb on. Um, now, uh, <laughs> here at the very top is uh, what we call, well, they call sponsored, but we call paid. They're just paid spots up at the top. And uh, the reason I'm telling you about Google is because most people don't know how Google works. And if you don't know how something works, then you can't take advantage of it. And there are good things that Google can do for your business. Um, again, sponsored, that means they paid. But right underneath those paid ones is what we call the map pack. Now, these folks got there by filling out a Google business profile. And it's like any other online profile. There's a bunch of boxes to fill in. This, uh, they'll ask you what year you started your business. They're going to ask you what your regular hours are. Uh, sometimes if you have a Google review already, they'll put that one in there. And uh, they'll also ask you to prove that the website is your own. Now, this is a great place to be because it's near the top of a Google search. And there is money at the top. That is much better than being one of the scrolling ones way down. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you underneath that, and by the uh, by the way, this this is all ordered by the Google algorithm, and that algorithm was developed by Google to give its search customers more relevant results. So uh, they're looking for something specific, and the first thing they're looking for that algorithm is this. Having this filled out gives them the idea that you're actually serious about being part of the Google family, if you will. Uh, you know, serious enough to want to have uh, Google part of your success. Now, uh, the first thing I find under that is Yelp. It's a list as opposed to an actual um, uh, contractor. So the first contractor I find is, I don't even really know what this is, Compare Savings and Systems from Energy Star. Um, Jaguar Heating and Air, uh, they're the first actual contractor I find. Now, uh, this is their website, and I'm going to show you yours again and do something really quickly. I'm going to copy and paste your website into this word counter. There we go, 662 words, uh, and then I'm going to do the same for them. Select all, copy and paste. There we go. Doop. All right, 882 words. Now, uh, as an algorithm goes, algorithms are looking for more. So unfortunately, your competitor, your top competitor in the Google search list has 882 words, which means you would want to have 883, right? No, Google wants you to have 1,500 words on your homepage. Uh, and the reason that is, is that they have determined that 1,500 words is the minimum amount of words that you can use to educate their search customers about whatever it was that they typed into that search box. And whether that be about oceanography, something academic, or whether it's, you know, looking for a roofer or an HVAC or whatever. Uh, they just want uh, you to have a sufficient amount of words. And if, if you had 1,500 words, not only would you beat them, but you would be considered essentially legitimate by Google, and that would help you get to the top of that list. Now, uh, all words are not the same at Google. That's the other part of this, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Keywords. You have 365 keywords, which is actually really good. 
I'm kind of wondering if your competitor is going to do as well. Here we go. Oh, 525. Yep, I did not look at these numbers before. I swear to you, I did not. So this is <laughs> this is not in your favor at them having more keywords. Now, keywords are words that are part of your industry. They're part of your um, the way that you design your site for sales. They're part of the uh, communities that you serve, and they're also uh, taken from like Google searches. So 525, I'm going to show you what their keywords are. And a bunch of these are going to look really similar. Uh, Sacramento HVAC contractors, HVAC repair Sacramento. Now, you and I know that these are all very much related, but the algorithm does not. The algorithm does not know our language. It doesn't know reasoning. It doesn't know intelligence. It just looks for what it looks for. It doesn't know singular and plural. So contractors and contractor are separate for it. Um, and uh, like, for instance, HVAC Sacramento versus HVAC Company Sacramento. You and I would know that those were the same. The algorithm does not. And so it is looking for anything that is in this in this uh, uh, different uh, order of things. And those are satisfied over here on the Jaguar uh, website. Now, uh, a bunch of these are looks like they're just about HVAC repair and repair and repair and then Sacramento. I don't see anything that people are Googling. That Oh, there we go. Heat pump installation. Um, I had a heat pump. I really loved it. Uh, AC tune-up, Sacramento. Uh, so you can see there's 17 pages of these. And uh, some of them have to do with your industry, like, you know, the heat pump question. And some of them have to do with just the areas you serve. Because uh, people do like to hire local. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is your backlinks. Backlinks is where you have your site on somebody else's site, and there is a link back to you. So you are currently on 195 different domains. Now, this number here should only be about double of this number. So that tells me that you have a lot of garbage backlinks, which is actually not in your favor. 195 domains. Let's see what your competitor has. They have 102. So you actually beat them in this one. And the reason that they are ranked higher than you on the Google search is this, because all Google searches are word searches. Now, uh, you have more uh, referring domains, but I'm going to show you what they have. Expertise.com, Yellow Pages, uh, Local Yahoo, This Old House, Super Pages. Now you can see there's a bunch up here that are highly rated. This number here is on a scale of 0 to 100. It's called the domain rating, and it shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile. In other words, these folks have a lot of other websites that refer back to them, right? So uh, just like your website, you have, uh, like you have, your domain rating is 27, which is actually really decent. Uh, and these folks have a rating of 90 because there are a lot of other sites that refer back to them. Um, and those are the sites that you really want to be on. And sometimes it's as simple as filling out a profile. Sometimes it requires, you know, uh, uh, well, <laughs> you know, just making them aware of you and, and they'll put you on. Uh, and, and that is uh, part of what's necessary in order to get onto one of these top rated ones. You want from the 70s above. Um, and the reason is Google wants you to have uh, links to you because they figure if somebody has uh, uh, enough people linking to them, well, they must be legitimate, right? They must have a uh, reasonable website that people enjoy going to, and that's why there are so many links to them. So uh, they're sort of like pre-vetting your site. Google doesn't have to do any work. They just say, oh, a bunch of people want to go there. I can send my customers there. Now, this is what it all comes down to. This is the traffic you had last month, meaning the visitors. You had 67 visitors last month, so a little more than two a day. And that's up two from the month before. Here's what your competitor had. 751 uh, visits. That's down three from the month before. That means that they had about 11 times more traffic than you did, which means they had 11 times more opportunities for uh a request for an estimate, uh, 11 times more opportunities for that uh, request to become a customer and to put money in their pocket. Um, it sounds like somebody has released the hounds out there. Sorry about that. Um, and uh, that's what it all comes down to. It all comes down to the money thing. People are made and broken on Google by where they are in the search. Now, I am going to search for uh, Vijara 
here uh, as I go down. And uh, I just want you to think about your own Google uh, experiences. When you are using Google, how far down do you scroll before you think to yourself, you know what, I've scrolled down far enough. I bet I have what I need from here on up. Um, and that's what we're talking about because uh, ultimately when uh, somebody goes looking for HVAC, uh, what what is it that, you know, how far down will they scroll? Would you have scrolled down this far looking for HVAC? I still don't see you. And that's a shame because you have a great website. You clearly have a good company doing this. So um, I'm just going to stop there because that's pretty far down. That's why people are not finding you. That's why you have 67 visitors a month when you could be having 11 times that. So uh, I just want to summarize now here. First, uh, what you want is you want a uh, Google business profile. You want uh, more keywords and you want more backlinks. All of these things are things you can implement right now. And uh, if you want to, if, but we can also help you implement these things. And that would be with the goal of getting you more customers, hopefully 12 times more customers than you have now because you want to compete with your competitors. Uh, now, uh, Megan is going to be following up with you to get some feedback about these ideas that I've been talking to you about. And uh, I just want to thank you so much for your time, Rachel. You enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching.